Alrighty, oh guys, welcome back to the Department of Filtration. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do just a basic oil filter inspection. Got this used Fleet Guard LF3399 off my 2H. Um, and I've also got this just little LF3615, I'm going to show you a different way how to open them, but So for starters, the most important thing is to be able to open them without getting any extra contaminants inside them So Because I obviously I do all videos and stuff, I've got my own filter cutter uh, You can get a few different sorts of these, this is one that's actually a Genuine Caterpillar one from a cat dealership. It works quite well with the big filters as well. This is a really big filter for a car anyway. And so that just clamps down. It's got rollers and cutters on this side. Tighten it up. And it cuts it open. normally do them with the base plate down I'm trying to not spill that much oil here it start to crack there tighten it up a little bit and there it goes so let's cut the top off nice and easy now if you don't want to spend your money on a filter cutter like this because this is worth like 150 australian dollars which is a fair bit if this is only you know your average little car and you're just doing it to see what's in there i've got this little car filter here used on off a rav4 and I'll show you how to open it with basic tools. So first you just want to get your O-ring out. You can get rid of that. And just a basic pair of tin snips. So this is just an old pair that I have around. You can use anything. But what you want to do is cut down across this lip to break the seal of the seam. Which is pretty much the hardest part. It takes a little bit of getting used to this method. My first couple of ones weren't great. And then what I do, sit it on the ground to get a little bit of extra go. It's just break, making this first cut can be quite hard. This is how I used to cut all my filters. You just, there we go, knock the camera. See how there I've just got past the first cut through the seam, and now it'll go around the edge pretty easy, like a can opener. Go around and it just peels open. Now this is not necessarily the easiest. See a lot of guys go straight for an angle grinder or a hacksaw. But that's almost definitely going to be putting extra contaminants in your filter that you don't need there. With this, I have seen shavings in the filters before. But you can tell that it's cut from this and it's very minimal. And then just like that, cut around the whole edge, snip him off. There's our rim, and there's our filter. All right, not a whole heap of metal shavings in there or anything. So we'll go back to our original filter that I was going to show. So I'll do this video assuming that you've never watched any of my other videos and you don't know what an oil filter is on the inside or how it works so 
So you've got here our inlet holes so the oil comes in those holes, comes down around the outside of this canister and then it goes through this paper here, back the middle, back out the middle hole and back into the engine. So there's a little bit more to it than that but that's basically how it works. So we've got our in the drain back valve there, it's stuck on pretty good. Nitrile rubber, it hasn't gone too brittle. You know, it doesn't, this just sort of rubber doesn't survive in the oil the best. It's done a good job for its service interval. This is a particular application, it's mounted uh, vertically anyway, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. So what you want to do is just pull out oh, the hand in the way. So your element should just come out like that. This is the part that we're going to be looking at. And I'll just sit that down. And you can see this should still going to be a little bit of oil in the filter, so you've got to be a little careful with it. You can take a look at what's in the bottom. Probably can hardly even see that it's all just black. Um, if you've got a major problem, cut open filters with major problems before you will see. Generally, the first sign of it will be in here because you will be able to see shiny little metal shavings. But in this one, not that you can see it on camera, but it's just plain black. This angel makes a lot of soot. And that's just how it is. So set all those bits aside and then you're going to be looking at your canister. Now you try and keep your surface as clean as possible. It's hard because you got cutting out and big dirty oily things. So you do it on a dirty surface. But if we just put some paper towel down. That'll keep all the shavings away. And then what you do is just grab yourself a sharp knife. You just got a Stanley knife. I always just start at the seam. There's a middle crimped seam there. You can see that. Just put your knife down towards one focus down on one end and I like to just hold it in just roll that around now depending on how deep it is and how good you cut you'll have to go multiple times in for the cut to get it all the way Turn him around and go the same the other direction. Right, yeah, and then I normally just go up to where the seam is. Just cut the filter paper down along the middle on each side. And then if you've cut it all right, should be able to... This one's a little bit hard because it's stuck. In, but you don't necessarily need all of it. You can inspect all of it if you want. But generally, the industry standard is you would just tear a bit off. And then you've got your paper. Dirty knife over there. So I might just rip a small a bit for the sake of this video. Now, what you'll often can do is you see that it's 
like a accordion how it comes in and out um a lot of guys and i often do i just don't have a vice series you just get that as it is put that in a vice just like that with the jaws like that and that'll squish all the oil out and help too if you're about to see to be clear this filter has been sitting for a while though so i think i'm pretty happy with it in this particular instance i'm not seeing a whole lot on it so then you're just inspecting this filter paper for um any essentially any particles So one way you can do that is with a magnet. I've just got a basic huge magnet here. And you can run that. Go to this side. Just run that over it. I haven't really got anything on there, but I can see one very small sparkly bit there. Just near my thumb. Not sure if you'll be able to see that on the camera. Obviously, doing this yourself, you'll get a better idea of it. And essentially, that's it. In terms of engine health, um different things from different obviously if you've got metal particulates a small amount would generally can be considered normal like there's a few tiny little specks on this paper element but that's okay if you've got big chunks or you've got lots of chunks if the whole thing's littered in shiny bits then you've got issues most likely with your bearings um, there's a few other things you can tell from the filter media. Now, as I said, this one's out of a dirty old Toyota 2H diesel, and it is black, like it is sooty. And that's what this engine does. It just makes a phenomenal amount of soot. And I already know that, and you can even smell it in the oil. Now, if you've got just a basic petrol town car... Your oil filter is probably going to look quite different. It's just not going to be anywhere near as black as this. And if you're looking to diagnose a problem with soot, and maybe in maybe a petrol engine like that, then something like this would tell you that you've got an issue. But now, and just quickly wipe my hands off. We go back to the small filter that I looked at just before, and I showed you how to open with the tin snips. You can see a bit of a different story with the filter paper. So I'll grab that. Now when we open this, grab the filter element out. You can see it's just cut a small little section for you. You can see that it's brown, but it definitely ain't black. Cut out a little section. Squeeze a bit of the oil out. You can see how it all... This one hasn't been sitting for very long. Now this paper has got its own story. See how it's brown compared to the black. But also, on all these little bits, you can see the little bits of carbon trapped in the valley of each pleat. So this engine makes a lot of carbon, and it comes off as hard bits. 
can see all the little pieces there on my finger. If I can get it. Um, and that's what this engine does. I've seen it a lot. But on the back side, it's pretty well clean. There's no shiny metal particulates there. It's just your carbon bits that are in there. But that's brown, which is what I would expect. There's no, it's not sooty black oil, but there is hard carbon particles in a basic brown oil soaked filter. So that's probably what you would be looking at in more of just a basic a town car oil filter and obviously if you're interested in the filter itself like I am you're looking for other things I've seen filters with you know you look in the gap between the pleats and there's a hole or you know a collapsed core you know glue that's to let the filter come apart the paper come apart from the center core you know or maybe a failed valve that's moved off to the side you know, there's lots of different things that can happen with the filter. And they're pretty easy to see. But this is our basic guide from the Department of Filtration on how to do a basic oil filter inspection.